Hey everybody, Isotoilet here. As we are waiting for episode 68 to get released really, really soon, I thought to myself that one of the characters I'm worried about the most is Titan Cameraman. So in today's video, I'm gonna get back to this awesome big buddy and share my ideas on what can possibly happen to him in the next episodes of Skibidi Toilet Original Series. I'll also show you all the upgrades and secret abilities that Titan Cameraman has been getting throughout the whole series, and specifically, why did he have a camera protection back in episode 18? And what's the most important thing I'll also tell you guys my theory about what kind of possible upgrades we will see on Titan Cameraman in the future. What will happen to him soon? Will he survive after getting so much damage in episode 67? And what kind of fate is Dafuk planning on this chat of a Titan? Watch this video till the end, as it's going to be an awesome experience for you guys. Now make some tea and grab your snacks. This is going to be awesome. Let's go! As you remember, Titan Cameraman is one of the most important characters in the Skibidi Universe series. We firstly saw him in episode 18, and he looked far more different from his cool modern we know now. The only abilities available for him in early episodes were kicking, punching enemies with his hands and crushing them in his tight fists. The most powerful ability he used to have was shooting a beam from his core, which was not protected in any way at that time, by the way. Good thing it has been improved in the later episodes of the series. Of course, such a limited number of powers were not enough for the old Titan cameraman to resist the strength of G-Man, who attacked him with his powerful yellow lasers in episode 20. Titan Cameraman revealed another ability during that fight. He took the shield from behind his back. But it wasn't that reliable sort of defense tool. The shield gets destroyed by the Kamikaze Skibidi, and the old Titan Cameraman is left in front of G-Man with his core wide open. What a perfect target to hit, don't you think so? Fortunately, Titan Cameraman shows that he's no dummy and flies away from the fight, and we already know that the point of his destination is the hidden laboratory where he will finally get some awesome upgrades. I'm also sure that even old Titan Cameraman was able to defeat G-Man in that fight. He just needed to get closer to him, because Titan was only strong in melee combat back then. But the weak G-Man was always saved by someone, and that time it was the Jet Skibidi Kamikaze. But on top of all that, the earliest version of the Titan Cameraman had camera protection. I think you know that this is the kind of protection that agents started using to prevent the TV men from damaging them. But in episode 18, there were no TV men at all. They only appeared in episode 33 for the first time. But how is it possible that Titan already had this improvement so early on? I guess there are several Alliance bases that are located in different places on the planet. And most likely Titan was brought to the aid of the Alliance from another base, possibly the main one where the TV men had long ago formed an alliance with the cameramen. Or these guys have been in the alliance for a long time. We just haven't seen them before. That makes sense because we're only looking at one cameraman's recordings, and there are thousands if not tens of thousands of them out there. But okay, let's get back to the episode chronology. It took a long time for Titan Cameraman to return, but the wait was definitely worth it. In episode 50, Big Bro gets back to the action, and now he is not that simple we can notice a lot of grand improvements he got for that long time. The first thing we notice is that the camera on his head now glows with the bright blue color, making him look more considerable and powerful, as it may be a sign that Titan Cameraman was in the very short list of special, greatly upgraded Titans. He now have the improved jetpack, so now he can fly not only vertically but horizontally too, which allows him to get into the combat from the air-catching Skibidi by surprise. Besides that, he also has retractable wings and an iron fin for better orientation in the air. He also gets the giant, powerful hammer, being able to crush everything on his way. And if that wasn't enough already, he also gets the giant cannons behind his back that are able to aim both up and sideways. He's also able to magnet the enemies using his cannon attached to his right arm that resembles the gravity gun from the game Half-Life, which is also has a reversal function that I explained with more details in my previous analyses. By the way, I think this magnet cannon was an improvement for his finger that used to fire energy orbs that we saw in episodes 23 as well as in 64th 1. His core has finally gotten three defense metal pieces similar to the way TV Titan's core became protected. His legs also got some protection material that we can see in episode 55. And the power of the blue beam became so much more intense, it's awesome to look at! The core is the most important part of Titan Cameraman's design, as it is obviously a power source for him that he can recharge. 
With the help of his core exactly, Titan Cameraman was being able to produce his strongest attack, releasing the blue flame frying all the enemies in the area of destruction. By the episodes 50, 55, it might have seemed to us that Titan Cameraman was on the peak of his power and glory with all the upgrades, new guns and defenses described earlier. But it was actually far from perfection. In episode 57, we see how his core became absolutely impenetrable due to the retractable metal tracks that can cover it completely in the moment of danger. His shoulder cannons are now also able to fold up. I was amazed by the character of Titan Cameraman throughout the whole series. I mean, look at him. He makes an impression of such a fierce and mighty dude, but he uses his strength very precise in the battle. And he clearly has his own moral and motifs. His plot arc about the infected Titan Speakerman is by far one of the best I've seen in this series. Also, it's important to highlight that Titan Cameraman also starts showing his emotions by episode 59, which makes him even extra cooler. Just look at that handshake. Damn, it's legendary, I'm not gonna lie. In the episode 64, Titan Cameraman gets even more upgrades from Cameraman Scientist. His rotating cannon attached to his left hand became much wider since he lost his last gun due to radiation or acid. By the way, in the beginning, Titan had a shield that he used to block G-Man's lasers. But after the big upgrade, scientists didn't make a similar one, which made Titan more vulnerable, I guess. But thanks to science here, we see the new improved shield again, and it's great. It now looks much more futuristic and reminds me of some blue transparent defense screen. It was a really cool upgrade, as it seemed to me that the only thing Titan Cameraman lacked in was his defense, and now it is fixed. Moreover, this shield is so powerful that it is able to repel the deadly acid attack, which is the most dangerous one for the cameramen as we know. Also, Titan is now able to shoot an explosive energy blob from his finger on the left hand, the ability that we already have seen in episode 23 if you remember, but didn't show up after that until episode 64. But as the series new episodes progress further, we now have to worry about Titan Cameraman despite all of his upgrades that made him a giant Giga Chad. In episode 65, Titan Cameraman fires a shot from his new cannon, but surprisingly for me, it did almost no damage to G-Toilet. Even though it was just a clone, apparently this new version of the cannon is weaker than the previous one. The hammer attack seemed way more effective as they successfully broke G-Man armor, lasers, and even his jetpack. In this episode, we can also notice Titan Cameraman's retractable brass knuckles that also really cool. The core energy flame still remains Titan Cameraman's most powerful attack, though, as he fries G-Man to the crisp in the end of the episode. Although, unfortunately, it didn't help much, as G-Man turned out to be nothing more as just a puppet. But after that, Titan Cameraman gets badly hurt by multiple kamikaze skabidi, although he tried to protect himself with his shield. It saved him from the imminent destroying, of course, but our poor guy still seems to be on the brink of survival, and that's where the things get really heated for our beloved Titan cameraman. He stands up embraced with fire, and instead of giving his usual thumbs up as a sign of victory, he shows the opposite thing, which looks quite depressing and worrisome for us. Now, we're finally at episode 67. In the beginning, we see that both Titan cameraman and Titan speakerman are actually alive, but for how long? As we see Titan Cameraman on the screen, he immediately gets into the danger as Circular Saw Skibidi tries to blow a sneak attack on him, but didn't do any damage to our Chad. Instead, Titan Cameraman gets this dummy's robotic arm as another nice addition to his collection of upgrades. But Circular Saw Skibidi was not the only danger Titan Cameraman faces, as Skibidi Mobster flies behind him and cuts off the remaining camera on his shoulder and affects him with acid. It seems to me like Titan Cameraman became the main target for Skibidi as they realized his whole potential as an enemy, so they threw all their powers to bring our guy down. Although Titan Cameraman is being saved by his friend Titan Speakerman, it is obvious to me that he's greatly weakened and won't be able to continue this fight for any longer. He experiences a number of serious injuries here. His main camera or its protection lens is broken, so he's not able to navigate as fast as he used to before. His core defenses and additional cameras on the shoulders are also damaged badly. His arm with a shield is also missing. So now it's being replaced with a robotic arm he ripped off of Circular Saw Skibidi Toilet. Apparently, he's also not able to fly anymore, as his jetpack and wings seem to be broken as well. 
As the fully upgraded G-Man clone appears, he knocks down our Titan with his laser shot in one go. And as if it wasn't enough, Skibidi Scientist rips off Titan Cameraman's protection, leaving him absolutely vulnerable. Then we see the breaking point of episode 67, as Titan Cameraman gets hypnotized by Skibidi Scientist and tries to cut his own main camera, causing a fire in the place of back cameras being already cut off. It was truly terrifying to watch Not Gonna Lie. It's funny that a robotic arm was supposed to help him take down a huge scientist. The Titan even showed a sign near his neck as if he was ready to destroy the enemy. But as fate would have it, that exact arm almost did to him what he was showing to the scientist. But luckily he was saved. Titan Speakerman cuts the robotic arm off Titan Cameraman, preventing him from finishing himself off. Also, as the new Titan TV man arrives, Titan Cameraman is not being influenced by the Skibidi Scientist hypnosis any longer, so he just falls on the ground. And I really hope our Chad will be okay. He's not destroyed yet, at least. In the fourth part of episode 67, we see that our guy is actually alive, and now he's standing next to the new Titan TV man. This returned Titan is a real destroying machine now, and he rescued our beloved guy from the claws of death, so I am very grateful to him. Titan Cameraman gets the lens from the Titan TV Man, the purpose of which is to protect him from TV waves again. And I'm really amazed that despite all the damage and injuries, Titan is back in the fight against the G-Man clones. It's unbelievable how strong he is, so this guy can definitely be called a real Chad. I'm not gonna lie. I have a theory about what could possibly happen next. And now it's time to share it with you guys. I already said in my analysis of the first part of episode 67, that all the Titans, including Titan Cameraman, won't perish in case of their destruction. Instead, they will most likely get transported to the Skibidi lab to get infected and controlled by the Skibidi scientist. It would strengthen the Skibidi army a lot, so I think it makes a lot of sense. But as the Skibidi scientist's attempt proved to be unsuccessful due to the Titan TV Man intervention, now I think that Titan Cameraman won't be a part of this mess. Instead, my predictions are that he will be upgraded from his defense side more and more specifically, he will raise the anti-hypnosis level of his defense. Maybe he will get some sort of tool that would allow him to break the hypnosis devices of his enemies. Or he will become immune to it, due to some Titan TV Man techniques. In that case, our guy will literally become unstoppable. And I will be really happy if it would come into life in the next episodes. Also, I think Titan needs some defense now, since he lost his shield along with his arm. It would also be cool if the top of his hammer detached and could hang on a chain like a Morgenstern. This would increase Titan Cameraman's melee attack range, I think. Also, he needs a good parasite defense, because during hypnosis, Titan can be infected, and we can't have another loss like that. So he needs some sort of laser that destroys anyone who tries to latch onto his neck. Imagine also that he has two retractable blades that attack the TV in front of him and break it so he doesn't get hypnotized in any way. I think that would work just as cool even with regular Skibidi toilets, wouldn't it? And if you guys have your own thoughts or theories about what can possibly happen with our beloved Titan cameraman, please write them in the comment section below as I'm always interested in what you folks have to say about it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and got to know some cool details about Titan cameraman you probably didn't catch before. And be sure you're subscribed to my channel not to miss my new videos. And that was me, Iso Toilet. See ya!